So now we have to think about that takes you the quickly, heels. Source Hunter. For a second tide is swelling. Come on, stay here. Don't hide. Ah, come on. Now we do the same fight again. I know they are different. Void whispers. Look at them. Still two wanderers and one watcher. Oh no, three. I guess it's the harder fight now. What? Oh, there's a skill called Destroy Summon, which destroyed our summon. Seems to be really handy against summons. I wonder if I can learn that. Or if it's just specifically an enemy skill. Alright. At least the seas are decay! Oh come on. Don't wouldn't you agree that he's inside this poison cloud? It kinda looks different, like depending on the angle. Anyway. Let's focus on those two. No glory in this death. Nice. The first one is gone. Come on, be frozen. Nice. I just try to throw him somewhere here into the fire. Ah, oh, that doesn't seem to be working. Let me just get him here so we can step him. Why did you turn around? Wow. <laughs> mean. <laughs> Let's see, I wonder what kind of character the White Witch is going to be. I mean, so far, everything seemed to be very positive. But they also already said, like, oh, she could be corrupted. Yeah. And, ah, oh, great, I'm stunned. And, um, yeah, it didn't seem like the Immaculate would uh, be prone to using that, so. Death is its own deliverance. Throw another ice shard. Fortunately, there won't be enough because he's warm. Mm. But still. Let's take the whisperer. And I'm wondering where we find the key to Rex Rex chest. I was like, I don't know what would make sense. And I mean, level 40 is something we will never be able to um, unlock. So lockpicking is definitely no option. I can see you. Maybe let's just do the splintered arrow. Fletched with thorny timber. Clip and dagger as fast as we can. And do some mushrooms. Interesting. Tiny chat mushroom, tiny electric mushroom, mushroom curry. These seem to be important. Feel free. Farseer! 
I mean, I think we are also getting XP for this fight, so I don't think it will be a, like an ever repeating fight, because then you could level up a lot. Yeah, we get, we definitely get XP for this fight. show of savagery, I Source Hunter. But mm. I wonder how you'll fare against an obstacle you can't beat into See submission. How fast he scuttles? We've escaped the void by the skin of our teeth. And still, the shadowy barrier remains. There must be another means of removing it. Let's talk to the mushrooms. You call to Ulgraf. It's a completely normal thing to say. Oh, well. Virgin! There was something we found. A stamped copper amulet. Air resistance and reflects damage. Yeah, let's give it to Wargraf. Seems to be better than his current amulet. And let's talk to some mushrooms. Hi, mushroom. Let's talk to the... Wow, those red, red dots. They're kind of like eyes. And it has a level. Are you so desperate for company that you've taken to befriending fungi? Oh. Well, we're glad to hear it. Ah, uh, talking mushroom. Now I've seen everything. Oh, somehow we doubt that very much. Have you ever seen a dragon's pajamas? A rat in a Sunday hat? No, no, Source Hunter. We do believe this life hasn't finished surprising you. Not in the least. <laughs> uh. Why would dragons even wear pajamas? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> what exactly do you know about this barrier over there? It's quite a lovely sort of barrier, isn't it? Who doesn't enjoy a gentle, breezy motion against one's backside, after all? Do mushrooms have a backside? Then again, we suspect it's been hoisted up by some not-so-savory characters. And we happen to know just how to remove it. The hmm. only trouble is finding the right sort of clever, sort of intrepid sort of person to entrust such a secret to. I am the right person. <laughs> now I want to see dragon in pyjamas. <laughs> I'm very sure there's artwork of that in the internet. Here's what we propose. We've a fresh batch of three brain teasers hot off our thinking caps. Perhaps, if you can answer them correctly, we might find you spirited enough to entrust with the barrier's deepest, darkest secrets. Yay, riddles! But it isn't all fun and games. Oh, no. We hardly offer second chances to the beriddled. If you give us a single false answer, we'll clam up like morning glories at midnight. So, do you have what it takes? Anxiety. <laughs> Of course, I'm up to the challenge. This is better news than the Orc Queen misplacing her thumbscrew. <laughs> but enough delays. Let us Joking begin. Mushroom. Your first riddle begins thus. With a quick save. The ravenous brute tore down my chartreuse gown, ripped out my silken hair by its roots, wrenched my children from me and fed me to the hogs. Who am I? Ravenous brew tore down my chatrose gown, ripped out my silken hair by its roots, wrenched my children from me, and fed me to the horse. Hmm. I would say corn. Quick save. Uh, an ear of corn. An ear of corn. That's right. An ear of corn fits perfectly. I was kind of thinking about the um, the fibers inside a, a pumpkin when you like carve it or something. But I think the corn hair is the most fitting one. Bravo! Bravo! Bravissimo! An ear of corn indeed! Can you imagine a sheep in a chartreuse gown? A pumpkin with silken hair? The fantasies of a fool. Now, on to our second riddle. And this one's sure to stump you. 
I cannot lie. I cannot lay. But only lie. Who am I? What? I cannot lie. I cannot lay. But only lie. So like stone? A stone. That's right. A stone fits perfectly. You've done it again! I'm thrilled. I'm amazed. I'm liable to to present the very last riddle. My big this will blow you out of your stockings, so hold on tight. <laughs> is that a sad thing to say or a funny thing? <laughs> ah, anyway. I've a neck as long as twice the width of a toad's tail. The love riddles. As many eyes as half the number of seasons per annum. I'm known to cause hurricanes in the Far East merely by taking off two minutes too late. Who am I? So, I've no neck. <laughs> I've two eyes. I know to cause hurricanes in the Far East merely by taking off two minutes too late. That butterfly and butterfly effect? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, that's not voice. A butterfly. That's right, a butterfly fits perfectly. Ooh, very good, very good. Love these kind the of last riddles. person who tried to solve that riddle puffed away in a small impish huff, mumbling about space-time. But not you. <laughs> you stuck it out until the very end, you crafty little so-and-so. So, what would you like to know? So, Ethan, what did you do yesterday? I played a game and solved riddles for some mushrooms. Okay. <laughs> what exactly do you know about the this barrier? One thing we know for certain. This barrier doesn't belong here. The wizard Maradino knew as much when he started poking around here. Whoever he developed a spell to remove it. But his fancy was caught elsewhere before he bothered to implement it. Down the spell dropped and up we scooped it. Oh, Unfortunately, nice. we aren't quite it. human enough to get it to work. But you've proven yourself just the right sort of clever sort of intrepid sort of person we'd love to entrust such a secret to. What can you tell me about the White Witch, Ikara? We thought you'd never ask. <laughs> what would you like to know? I mean, first, who is she exactly? What does she do here? Some call her the Guardian of Lukula. And by our estimations, she's more than earned the title. She's a healing witch, concerned mostly with the safety of the living souls, animals and plants alike, of this forest. Aww. And she's been here since even before our great-great-great-great-grandmother, Francisca Toadstool the 44th, can recall. We've what? long lodged adjacent to her little cabin, and she used to greet us with a how do you do every morning? <laughs> well, <laughs> what kind of mushrooms have grandmothers? We do hope she's not entangled in anything unsavory. What a shame it would be mm. if someone with a penchant for heavy-handed hoe wielding moved in. Guess another hint that there might be something off. Do you know anything about the White Witch's involvement in the murder of Counselor Jake over in Cyseal? Murder? That doesn't sound like her at all. No. Murder. Much more interested in patching things up than tearing them down, that one. True. Unless something happened to her. Then again, it's hard to tell on what stalk a person truly stands until you've seen them at the end of their rope. Isn't that so? I suppose, if someone held a sword to our caps, we'd fight them with every last spore we had. <laughs> That's a saying I have to remember. <laughs> On what stalk a person truly stands. Mm. Do you have any idea where exactly now the Wild Witch is? She's still in her cabin? Somewhere in her cabin, as far as we know. The last we saw her, she and her apprentice, Almina, were rushing inside, whispering to one another. They seemed rather anxious. Pa 
Perhaps they knew that those immaculates were on their trail. So many names of a many A's. Um, okay. Do we already have the spell? We do. Barrier removal spell. Aradino the Magnificent and Merciful commands. Mushrooms, make merry. By my masterful machinations, may this barrier be gone. That didn't do anything. <gasps> Gold. Loot. So I guess maybe let's try to half the spell here. It appears Maradino had some talent mixed in with all that hot air. He certainly knew how to remove magical barriers, if nothing else. I think... Also interesting that you have the same set of mushrooms over here too. I'm just waiting for the summoner to attack us. Flip mm. through the void for now, Source Hunter. But believe but you me, him. none no, escape for long. Uh, spiders. They are all around us. I don't like that. And it's their turn. Oh no. What's worse than spiders? Shooting spiders. Ranged ones. What are you doing there? Why are they getting smaller once they hacked? Oh, that one didn't. <laughs> if they are ranged, they get smaller. Okay, I think we should maybe focus on the summoner. So let's just start with some poison. Finishing poison! <laughs> what he says. And add some fire. Be a rough fight for an arachnophobe. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, I also really dislike spiders, but it's not so bad that I can't see them in games or anything. It was kind of funny in the. Um, there's a collection of uh, mods and everything for um, Pathfinder, the toy box I'm using. And um, there's actually one mod to... Um, yep, that wasn't stupid. That was stupid. <laughs> and um, actually one mod uh, was that you can um, replace every spider with something else. Which is nice for people who can't deal with spiders, I think. Um, let's try to freeze it. They're all so much initiative. They're, it's all their turns before mine. Dude, are you hiding? Either you are confident in your I skills or see. not. Jayana's stunt. It's not a good start. I feel compelled to just close the door. Stop harassing him. Do shadow damage. Don't think we have a resistance to that. Okay, so let's kill this first. And then close the door. Bye, spider. I think Wolf deals so much damage. Insane. Alright, Immaculate Summoner. Scary Cat. Oh, that's also new. Getting the epic uh, music in the middle of a fight. And not the beginning. But I take it. Does that work? Ah. Uh. 
still the best battle theme. Just hope it doesn't get quiet again after it. Ah, come on. Yeah, what do you do, spider? <laughs> You're trapped. I wonder if it could even open the door. <laughs> That's a feasible action for a spider in this game. Mm, let's try more fire arrows. Looks like you're in my line of fire. Oh, it's, it's not the smartest move for Avatar Fire. Anyway. Alright, so let's try to go there as fast as we can. Do some more feet. Level dagger. And then use four daggers. Summon our fire elemental. Just to compare it to the spider. So, elemental blazes are free magical projectiles. It's kind of nice. Oh, yeah. I mean, fire is not the best damage. Rise, cherubs of chaos and conquer. Another spider. Or two ones. <laughs> ah, the spider inside. Hmm. So apparently they can't open doors. Which is a huge weight off my chest. Imagine you're somewhere, the door opens and a spider comes in and it's like, hello there. It would be horrible. He sti has still this air status. But he's dead. Finally. Hmm. Come on, spiders. Nightmare fuel. <laughs> The spider onto another one. Uh, ah, that worked. Alright, so the fight doesn't end. We have to open the door. Can't let the spider escape. Here's some fire. Uh, yeah. Long way inside. Um, more fire. Fire spider. Fire fire. I don't know. <laughs> so we don't use electricity since we know and <laughs> remember they don't care about that. Ah, come on. What is this shadow damage? Why can't we have any resistance against that? Alright. The spiders are no more. We did it. Look at everything we can loot. Fortune! Uh, another amulet of the enlightened one. Not really sure if we ever need more than one, but now we do. We have that. Uh, I think petrifying touch is also something Scarlet already knows. Yeah. I think with um, Roderick. Ah, oh, it's okay. Still eighty percent. Success, so um, let's learn it. Or not, since we're too stupid. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's heal up and go inside.
This is such a calm music. And look, just from the sound of it, uh, it sounds like a bit of older music. Since um, I think I already told that once uh, in the Let's Play. Um, they actually uh, did some new music for this game. But they also reused lots of um, music from older Divinity games. This one, for example, is also from uh, either Divine Divinity or Beyond Divinity. So the first or the second. But I really like that one for the forest. 299 ways to wisdom. You don't have time for most of the suggestions listed in the book. Ah, doesn't sound that wise, I think. Okay, not too much to find here. So let's use the mirror of Asate. That's called like the um, entity we met in the Hall of Echoes. Hmm. 